Hello my dear friends, welcome to this video. In the last tutorial you learned how to use the jQuery get and post method. And as I promised in this tutorial I will show you the jQuery Ajax inside the PHP file, okay? The Ajax is very powerful tools because whenever you are coding with the PHP, the PHP itself cannot load data in real time and etc. But if you use the Ajax we can do those things very easily let's see how to do it first of all you have to turn download the zamp or any other server software you know to turn your computer as a servo to run the php okay you will install the php itself we work with this to get in post the jQuery get in post and this time i want to make a folder i call it ajax i want to use the jQuery ajax remember there's a difference between the javascript ajax and the jQuery ajax the jQuery ajax is much simpler then the JavaScript Ajax. I will make a separate video about the JavaScript Ajax also. They're very common, but the the line of codes, the complexity is much less with, with the jQuery Ajax than the JavaScript Ajax, okay? So inside this file, I wanna make a file inside this folder, page.php. What I wanna do is to make a, a kind of to inputs I want to make few inputs and whenever I click this input I want to send this data to a PHP file to do everything I want there and I get back the response all will be done with Ajax and PHP so I make HTML5 basic structure I have to link my jQuery library CD in here so I go to the jQuery website and I click the minified copy the link come back to your code and paste it here okay inside the body what I want to do is I want to make a form you have to make a form close the form I make a form and inside this form I want to make a label for maybe there will be two thing name and last name and whenever I click or maybe whatever you can think about it what you want I want a name and I want an input text the most important thing is to give it an ID I want to give it an ID of name and I copy this one and paste it one more time this time I want to say comment comment and I also want to make input input button this is a button type is button and the value is sent or maybe post and the uh, id is submit or maybe oh yeah submit looks good this is my page let's see how it looks okay this is my page i have a field for name and I have another field for comment okay I have name and comment and I want to whenever I click I send this to a PHP file and get a response inside the PHP you can do this to make a PHP tag and receive this data by post and do whatever you want but that is not but the page should be refreshed if every time something new happen but I want to does that without refreshing the page that's the power of Ajax how you can do that let me come here make a script tag close your script tag and everything will be inside this is script tag the first thing I have to say this is the jQuery so document document.ready inside this ready we have a function and everything will be done inside this function what I want to do the first thing I have to do is to say whenever the submit button this button is clicked so dollar because I give the idea of submit to my button I use this and my button ID which is submit whenever this button is click what I want I want to run a function okay I want to run a function what this function does what should it do okay what I want this function to do is the first of all I want to get the values of this name and 
comment inputs how you can do that very very easy I make a variable and I call it a name this equal to we're using Ajax we can select elements very easily because I give it an ID of name I can say dash and name and what I want from this input I want to get its value so val I want to get its value and I store the value inside this name variable I make another one for the comment and now I want to click the comment so we have the values of name and comment and after that I want to check if they are empty or not just make a f f name is equal equal to nothing empty this is an empty file or or comment is equal equal to empty if this is the case what I want I want to return false if that's not the case now this is the magical point okay I want to use a jigs how can you adjust dollar dot a jigs and everything will be done inside this brackets because ajax itself is an object so everything inside this object ajax is in, inside an object okay so for that use a bracket and everything will be inside it the first thing is the type what you want ajax do is a post or get me to the first parameter is the type and i want to use the post the second parameter is the url you want to send this data to where to where you want to send I want to make a PHP file I call it uh, post.php so I want to send my data my this data to the post.php put its name in here post.php after that the other parameter is the data okay the data and data itself is an object because we can have multiple data to send so use the bracket to put the data what you want to send i want to say send the name you can call it whatever but remember this is this this is the name which you want to use on site your php okay and for name i use name if you change this one to xyz or whatever you have to use this name inside your php file but in this case i want to call it name and the other one is the comment and what is the comment the comment is also comment which comes from here this comment and name i want to send this to, this to data the name and the comment you can send whatever you want after the data parameter put a comma and the other thing is the catch the catch if there's an error because here we see if it's empty return false the catch is false okay and after that we have two important parameter the first one is the success if this is an excess success the data is posted what to do on run a function and this function have a parameter of data and I want to alert that data alert that data and after this success function we have another parameter called uh, called error and this also function it have it has three parameters the first one is XHR status and the error and if there is an error I want to console con say console dot error I want to console the error which which error I want to console the XHR okay and that's it if there is an error I will console log the error if there is not an error I get a success alert I give this I, I run this success function which alert the data and I want to post everything by using post me to to this URL now let's create this post.php I've created already let's write some code inside this so this is a PHP and in here because two data will come and the me to this post the first one is name so I make a variable called name you can call it whatever you want user name or whatever and it comes by, by a post method if you use get you have to use get here okay so what is the value of it it is name this this name okay this value and that's name and this other one is user comment and this is 
copy this one and this is this comment okay post it here this two parameter will come from our objects to this PHP file and I wanna response to it you can do whatever you want you can post it to database you can run your SQL here you can anything you do in your PHP alone you can do it here now I wanna echo your your name is dollar user name and your comment is dollar user comment I'll run this okay save so if the function is a success it will alert me this line of code let's save everything and let's run it I want to say Ali and I comment this is a nice page post there's an error let me see what is the error okay vol in the file value okay let me go back to my code yeah here I selected you have to put a dot okay I want to select from name the value of this one and from command the value of one. I, I forgot to put that dot let's refresh again let's put a name this is a good page let's click post there's another error let me see what is it document is not defined oh yeah this document is also not document now it should work refresh this is a good pitch you close this one post and there you go your name is Ali and your comment is this is a good page this comes from our PHP file here you can use run SQL to post it inside your database whatever you want you can do this was a basic structure a basic tutorial to learn how to use the jQuery Ajax with the PHP I hope you guys learned something we'll continue uh, talking more about PHP Ajax and etc uh, in the next video I'm gonna make uh, Ajax me, I, I'm going to use Ajax, jQuery Ajax and PHP to post data into the server and also fetch them back. So if you like this tutorial, make sure to push that like button, subscribe and press the bell icon. Have a great time my friends.